Watch you guys got another video here for you. This one's on how to dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 7. Now dual booting is a really useful way of choosing which operating system you want to boot into. Now you can either boot into Windows 7 or you can either boot into Linux Mint or any other type of flavor of Linux that you wish to uh, dual boot to. So let's have a look at Linux Mint itself. You can get it from linuxmint.com. It's a free download and all you need to do is hit the download tab there and then choose which version you wish to download. Now we're going to be doing the 64-bit version here. So once we've got that, well your first thing you're going to need to do is burn that ISO image to a CD. Now once you've got that on a CD, you're going to put that in a CD drawer and we're going to boot to that. So the next thing you need to make sure that if you've got enough space on your drive, now you can see here there's plenty of space for Linux Mint uh, to be installed and that's really important. So let's reboot our system into Linux Mint and we're going to boot to our CD here. And that means we need to change our BIOS settings and then boot to that. So let's reboot the system. Okay, so what we're going to do here is let this load in. Okay, so now we're at the uh, Linux Mint desktop here, and as you can see, there is a little icon here saying Install Linux Mint, and this is the one we're going to be clicking on. Okay, so now we've got the installation uh, window up. What we're going to do here is go through the motions and select what options we want. So we're going to go to English, continue. And now we'll do some checks, and you can see it has at least 5.9 gigabytes available space. It's connected to the internet, and we're going to have two ticks in here, and this is because uh, this is all okay. Now, if you've got something wrong here, it won't allow you to do it. So that's all good. Okay, so now we've got some options open to us. We've got Install Linux Mint alongside Windows 7. This is the option that we're going to be choosing. You can actually overwrite Lin uh, Windows 7 altogether here and replace it with Linux Mint if that's what you wish to do. Uh, but then that wouldn't be a dual boot, obviously. And then you've got choose something else. But this is the version we're going to be going for here, alongside Windows 7. Okay, so now we've got the uh, choice of... Uh, options open to us where we can change the size of this if we wish we can just drag this across here like so to make it bigger or smaller depending on how much space you want to give Linux Mint okay so Linux Mint will be on the right hand side here so we can choose how much we want to uh, give it I'm just gonna leave it right there and go install Okay, so we're going to go continue here. Continue again, because we're going to choose London. Okay, we're going to choose uh, UK English. I'm just going to put in a name here and uh, you can create a password if you wish now you can choose a real big uh, password here I'm going to encrypt my home folder
go next we're going to go next here put the tick inside here So we want to remove the uh, CD here and uh, just push enter and there we have our options here we can either boot into Linux or we can boot into Windows 7 so let's have a look at uh, Linux itself we go into here okay we need to put in a username here and our password so this will help you out but we're going to close this off and there you have uh, booted to the desktop and we've got it fully installed now and uh, that's how basically you uh, dual boot dual boot um, Linux Mint with uh, Windows 7 and you can see you've got all your applications and tools and everything here that you need okay okay what we're going to do now is reboot the system just to make sure everything went okay with Windows 7 so we're going to quit, quit here and reboot okay so what we want to do is click on Windows 7 and there you go that's how you uh, dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 7 now word of caution here obviously if something goes wrong you may have problems so it's always best to back up uh, everything before you do it before you do this maybe make a mirror image of your Windows system so you can always revert back if something goes wrong okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and share support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now